How to add a 3D object into your clips. Can you guess which one is the fake car? Today's video is sponsored by Megatron. What a shame. Make your clip a new fusion clip and open the fusion page. Add a camera tracker node. Drag it to the left viewer and check the preview auto track box. Decrease the detection threshold slider and the minimum feature separation. Play around with those sliders until your image is covered with enough points. Hit the auto track button and let the AI demon do the work for you. When the tracking is finished, go to the solve tab. Hit the solve button and wait for fusion to do the work again for you. When it is finished, take a look at the average solve error. If it is lower than one then you are ready. Go to the export tab and hit the export button. It will bring you some nodes in the flow. Delete the camera tracker node. Disconnect your clip and connect the camera tracker render node. Delete the ground plane node and drag the merge 3D to the left viewer. Right click in the corner of the viewer to change the viewing mode. As you can see, those points are representing your image in 3D space. Find the spot where you want to place the 3D object. I will use this spot here to add my hyper realistic car model. From the menu bar, go to Fusion, Import and Import an FBX scene. Browse your 3D file and hit OK. Connect the final node of the 3D to the Merge 3D node. Go to the Transform tab and move your object. Now it's the tricky part. Navigate in 3D space and place your object in the spot where you want it to be. In the Material node, bring the image you have as a texture and connect it to it. Go to the Tools menu, bring an ambient light and connect it to the Merge 3D node. Adjust the intensity, and you will see nothing. You need to go in the Camera Tracker Render node, and enable the Lighting and Shadows box. Now the object is affected by the light, bring a directional light and connect it again to the merge. Play around with the lighting sliders. Select any part of the 3D object, go to the Transform tab, and you can animate it through the timeline like any other parameter in Fusion. This is a basic introduction to 3D in Fusion, if you found it interesting, I will experiment to make some more advanced 3D tutorials in the future.